Somehow, some way, we survive another day. In the beautiful region of Ash Canyon, inside one of the only cabins. It's currently day four and we are not doing too good. Definitely better though, as we are at 50% condition and I think today is gonna be the day we leave this area in search of greener pastures. Anyways, everyone, welcome back to the long dark. If you remember last time, we got mauled by a wolf, we skinned a rabbit, we froze to death almost, and we rotted inside this cabin for about seven days. Our stats are looking pretty decent, but looking at my hunger and thirst bar, we are going to help ourselves to some water. And that's gonna be it, because we can starve ourselves just a little bit to make rations go by a little bit quicker. Now, our only escape route through this place is to follow the water's edge to the right, and hopefully, by just maneuvering on down, we can reach some new areas. I will do one thing before I leave, though, and that's pull out a torch and light it. So we have ourselves a little bit of extra warmth and a way to start fires without wasting matches. Because right now, what I need to worry about more than anything else are the temperatures. If I become hypothermic, I will die extremely quickly. So yeah, let's go head outside and get a move on. And already, it's cold as hell. Okay, that means we really can't stick around to do a whole bunch. We need to get moving right now. We're gonna follow this way down and we're gonna be picking up any cattails along the way. I am gonna be sprinting a little bit so we can make the best use of our time. As it's been 30 seconds and we're already down by 75% on the condition bar. Oh, it's bad. It's bad, but it could always get worse, so let's count our lucky stars. I will also be grabbing any cattails along the way because those will prolong the inevitable. Oh, hello there, little guy. Yeah, that's another reason why we need the torch, is because fire scares away these little guys, and I won't get mauled. So see you later. <laughs> uh, rest in piss. I got, uh, bigger things to do right now, little guy. Come on, go, scram, get out of here. Yeah! <laughs> that's exactly why having the torch is so important in this game. So I'll let y'all know if I find anything else that's cool. For now, it's gonna be a whole bunch of cattails until we reach a fishing hut. Oh, and there it is. We have hypothermia. By the way, this wolf is still trying to murder me. I have been trying to avoid him, but he just really wants to kill me. Also, my torch is almost out, so I'm gonna throw it on the ground and take another. And we can just daisy chain our torches like this, so we always have protection without wasting any matches. Okay, though, we do need to hurry it on up because we are freezing to death very, very quickly. Also, could you please leave? I, I really don't want to do this right now. Go, scram, get out of here. Yeah, all right, we got to go this way. Okay, everyone, we have made it over to the fishing hut, or better known, Bitter Marsh. Now, there are a whole bunch of cattails that I want to loot right now, but I really want to wait to do that until I can, you know, warm up a bit, because our condition bar is already extremely low compared to how it was at the start, so starting up a quick little fire and then looting the stuff is gonna be nice. We can, however, use our torch to start up a quick fire very cheaply. As soon as this is down, we're gonna warm up, and then we're gonna go and loot all of the cattails. And that right there is why you use torches to start fires, right? Because you can just repeat it as many times as you want. Now, please warm me up. I am really, really cold right now. Awesome sauce. Okay, let's throw some fuel in there and get a move on. Oh, also, free storm lantern. That's actually extremely nice for looting. And finally, the potbelly stove is warm enough for us to warm up a bit. Also, if you're looking, we definitely froze a little bit more, waiting for the temperatures to go up. So right now, I don't even want to loot the cattails around the area. I just want to warm up and get the hell out of Dodge. We are very low condition, and we need to get a real move on if I want to make it over to Timberwolf Mountain. So I'm going to neglect the cattails here. I can come back at a later date. We have 43 to go around and eat. 
and matter of fact, I am going to eat because of how low condition we are, and we are gonna cross our fingers that we can make it over to the hut. I have no idea if we're actually gonna make this. It's gonna be close, though. So yeah, we're gonna warm up for quite a while, cooking up water along the way. Alrighty, we are now full up on our temperature bar. We're gonna drink some water, and we're gonna get a move on. So let's finish it off with a torch. Okay, let's... let's move. It's do or die right now, and I really want to do rather than die. Oh, also, our temperature is only going down two bars instead of three, so that is very nice. Okay, we might actually make it over to the hut. Oh, it's gonna be a close one, though. Let's just keep on moving. Picking up sticks along the way, because fire is life. Also, new torch. Alrighty, we are on the path now, everyone. I think if we move our way up over here, we will reach the entrance to Timberwolf Mountain? I think that's the place. I'll be honest, I don't really know. I really should have warmed up a tad bit more before I did this whole thing, though. Okay, we just gotta have faith right now. Also, it looks like we need another torch. So, let's relight it. Boom. Okay, keep her moving. Right on out of Ash Canyon. Okay, we're now at Timberwolf Mountain, everyone. Holy hell, we're actually doing it, everyone. There's also some rose hips here, so we will be harvesting those as well. Okay, we're not out of it yet, because we still are freezing to death very quickly, so I need to get a damn move on straight towards the only, like, real place on this area. And I think it's gonna be in, like, that direction over there. I sure hope it is. I'm kind of freeballing it at this point because of how, you know, constrained our resources are right now. If I can make it over, though, we can rot inside of the bed for almost, like, eight to ten full hours, right? We're picking up enough sticks as well to where that won't be an issue either. What I'm trying to say is that we need just a little bit more time, and we will be thriving. Never, actually. This game is just brutal. Also, there's the hypothermia risk once again. We are now constrained. I see so many rose hips right now, and I know I can't loot it with how close we are in terms of condition. I'll be back here later, maybe, possibly. I don't really care too much about resources, though, if I'm gonna die, other than the, other than the sticks, of course. Okay, there's a crashed plane. I will loot it at a later date right now. Please don't do this to me, dog. Oh, please tell me I got more torches. That is the last torch I have, huh? Oh, it's bad. It's bad. Okay. We need to move! We need to move right now! <laughs> oh, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad! Okay, there's another wolf down there. We're not gonna make it, everyone. I think what I'm gonna do instead is set up a quick little campfire, throw as many sticks on it as possible, in hopes that I warm up a bit. Yeah, no, okay. We're, we're camping here. If I die here, I die here. We're gonna go right next to this tree stump. Oh, please work. <laughs> Okay, there we are. Now let's throw in as many sticks as possible. Let's get the heat output rolling right now. While that's cooking up, we're gonna make some more water. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we're gonna be all right. I'm definitely not worried. Alrighty, everyone, we are stabilizing. Very slowly and steadily, the temperature is going up. Right now, all I have to be uh, worried about is the uh, blizzard rolling in at any time. We are about halfway there to the cabin, though, so as soon as we warm up, we should be cooking, right? We got a whole bunch of sticks left. We're gonna eat food. We are gonna make it. <laughs> and then we are probably gonna have to rest up at that camp for, for a few years, I would say, for my condition to get back up. Also, while we're at it, I am gonna be making some rosehip tea from the uh, stuff that I found, and hopefully that will help me survive. The fire's gonna continue for another couple of hours, and these rose hips might help me survive. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna be all right, everyone. We're gonna be all right. <laughs> okay, everyone, bad, bad news. There's a blizzard out. I think we're dead, everyone. 
Okay, okay, let's we just gotta move then. We just gotta move. I'm gonna eat this last bit of uh, cattail stalks, and I'm gonna cross my fingers that the direction we pick just just works. Yep, it's time. Okay, it's do or die. I should probably drink the tea as well. It's still hot, that'll give me a bonus. All right, let's get a move on then. <laughs> oh, we're so dead. Yep, okay everyone, I tried my best, the game just screwed me sideways! <laughs> yeah, no, having a blizzard happen at this point, um, game over. It is game over for me. I have no idea where the hell I'm at. We are dying very, very quickly. Uh, the, 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 the tea is still hot, maybe that'll warm me up a bit. It, it did, it did, it did! Oh my god, okay, okay, hold on, we might still have a chance. Oh, if only I knew where the hell I'm going. Well, everyone, I died horribly, and now we're gonna die horribly again. I don't even know if I'm gonna record this bit because of how quickly we might perish. We have spawned in Timberwolf Mountain of all spots, if I look over, which is really funny knowing that we died here. And hopefully, we will be able to find our way around the area and leave without my death, right? <laughs> I have no idea if that's going to be possible, but we're at 100% condition, and we have the will to survive. I really have no idea where I'm at, so we are gonna guesstimate everyone! Yippee! Our goal right now is to find that damn cabin. By the way, if you want to know my clothing, I didn't even start with a sweater. I have a dress shirt, and that's the only thing that's keeping me insulated right now. It's brutal out here. <laughs> oh, man. We got sticks, though. Hey! Oh! There's also a rope that I saw down over this way. Right over there. That red one that I might be able to use. And honestly, right now, it's the best chance I have. We're gonna get our stamina back, we're gonna head down, and we are gonna just follow the trail on down. Yeah, let's do it right now. Time is money, money is time, let's get moving. Oh, even better yet, it's almost nighttime! This game hates me, dude! Give me a normal spawn! Oh, okay, let's just keep her moving. We're gonna start freezing to death in three, two, one. Yep, there it is. Epic. Awesome. Love to see it. I will let you know if I survive or die. Uh, I'm gonna be picking up sticks along the way, and I'm just gonna head in this direction. I, I, I thought I heard a wolf for a second. If there's a wolf, I'm going to cry. Okay, we're good. Oh, this sucks. This sucks, eggs. Oh, hold on here. There is a cave, though. There is a cave. We could potentially shelter in there for the day. No, I'm thinking about it. It's not too viable, but it is a location to where I can find some supplies. Maybe some matches, right? Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, it's a good sign when there's a, there's a campfire here, though. Firewood, that's it. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, well, that's all we got. We got charcoal, though. Whoa. I, I have no idea where the hell I'm at. This is so bad. Okay. Well, let's hope there's a slope on the other end. <laughs> where the hell am I? Hold on, everyone. Wait a minute. I know where this is at. This is where I died before. That's actually where I set up the fire, like down over there. Okay, 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 we might be cooking everyone. We do have enough condition to actually loot this plane as well, so you know what? Let's loot it, and then let's make a straight shot over towards the cabin. I think it's in that direction. I'm gonna hope and pray and beg that it's in that direction, but we do have some lootables here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to loot them, because these crates might require breaking down. Yeah, so we 
don't have anything actually. Awesome. Yeah, love to see that. Okay, let's just keep her moving then. There is some birch bark here, which I can turn into tea. That's huge. Let's keep her moving. Oh, that's a bear down there. That's perfect. There's also a wolf down over there. Man, this place sucks. <laughs> but we just gotta keep on moving regardless. Oh my god, there it is. There it is, everyone. Is that a wolf in the way? I think that's a deer. What's more important is that there's a fishing cabin, and with that dock line, there's going to be the actual cabin cabin. Okay, we're actually saved. And it's really, really sad because I was so close in my previous run. Is that a wolf? I have no idea. I wish I could see. No, that's a deer. Okay, we're good. We're chilling. Oh, hell yeah! We also got cattails here? Yeah, we're gonna be able to forge out a whole new life in this place. Okay, grab cattails, loot the fishing cabin, start up a fire. Actually, even if there is a chance to start up a fire, it could still be bad. What matters, though, is we have survival rations and heart. True grit survival mode. Whatever the hell that means, I have no idea. I'm just coping really, really hard right now. Okay, what do we got in here? Driving gloves? Taken. Scroll the message. Practical gunsmithing. Uh, I can use that for fuel. Sewing kit. Nice, nice, nice. Heavy hammer? That's actually huge. Hold on here. I know that's pretty important in Interloper because that allows you to forge out items. What else we got? Come on. Big money, big money, big money. Nothing else. No matches on the shelves either. I'll check behind the potbelly stove. That looks to be it. Okay, let's make a straight shot over towards the cabin now. <laughs> if I survive, things are going to be pretty damn good. I will say that much. Hopefully, there is a very nice winter jacket inside of this place that we can use to warm up for the night. If not, uh, we're dead, basically. Let's see, though. What do we got? We don't have anything right now. We have ourselves a nice cabin. How's the temperature look? Good, I can actually sleep here. Not bad. We also have ourselves a granola bar. Wooden matches. Bless RNG. Okay, okay. Uh, nothing else too crazy in here. Uh, nothing in the workbench. We have a ski jacket underneath the bed. That's actually huge. Wear that. We're actually warming up indoors. I think nature is finally healing everyone. Okay, let's do a double take of this entire place, and then I think I'm gonna end the episode here. We're gonna be able to sleep through the night, and with this boon, we will... I mean, we might have a very good start. We have a fireplace that we can use to boil up water. We have more cattails to harvest. It's looking pretty good. Not to mention this wood hatch, which has lantern fuel and a baseball cap. Not too good, but it will keep me a little bit more warm. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. We died a horrible, horrible death, but we, we, we did get a second chance in a kind of roundabout way. I'm gonna sleep for the rest of the night. Maybe we'll find something else, you know, around here, like a tin of sardines behind that very suspicious milk crate. Huge. And yeah, we'll see where it goes. I feel a little bit more hopeful about this character, seeing our condition, and I think we're gonna do just fine. I will see all of you later. Peace out, everyone.